Hey, Anel, you ever get tired of the humdrum and the drudgery? Um, no. Honestly. I personally, I, I think you have to embrace the humdrum and the drudgery. I know we've talked about it before. I'm sorry, I'm going to mute because I have to burp. It's so nice to mute and let out a big burp when you have to burp instead of uh, like just going blurp and still disgusting the people who get disgusted by burps and you don't feel like you had a big burp either. That's the way to do it, man. I mean, I'm not joking when I say that I think I would do okay as Sisyphus because at least I would have the rock. I'd have something to distract myself with. I think it's the humdrum and the drudgery that makes up like 95% of life. So you, you might as well do your best to embrace it as much as possible, you know? Turn some music on while you, you do the dishes. Um, put on a podcast while you fold your laundry. Put on, you put on my content on the second monitor. Drop, uh, give subscriptions. Uh, give me a million dollars, etc. So just stuff like that that helps the day go by quick. They really wanted to punish him. They'd take away his rock. This, but unironically. Okay, we're going to do some dulls here, okay? Library, <laughs> thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I used to have you on the second monitor. Oh, that's nice. Now I got you on the third one. What the fuck, bro? I'm sitting right here. You ever think about this? I, I don't mean this to be uh, insane or be... Uh, like a downer and i don't even mean it to be like realistic in the way that people say it's not mean it's just realistic but you ever watch like an action movie where they like try to save somebody's life and then realize that like if that person that they're saving even if they're like you know 30 years old the stakes feel a lot lower when you realize that in 60 years they're gonna die anyway <laughs> maybe i'm psychotic but I'm like, Arnold, what are you doing saving that person's life, bro? Like, it makes the stakes seem... He should do it, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I'm watching this movie, like, if he doesn't save this person's life, the world is going to end. I'm like, no, bro, he's... You're, you're, giving, you're not saving his life, you're buying him an extra 32 years, okay? That's nice, don't get me wrong. It's good that he's doing it. That's his role. Are you depressed? No, I'm, I'm loving life. I'm just... Bro, depressed people, I think that they don't think about that. Instead, they go, what's the point? And they think about what they get from DoorDash. And then they're like, not that. That doesn't seem like it would taste yummy right now. I'm asking the questions you're too afraid to ask, okay? Hey, Tanuki Parachute, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Just because my joke didn't work, that doesn't mean that I am depressed, okay? This just means I made a, a joke that didn't hit. But I still think that the punchline has some meat in it. We just need to re reconfigure the mathematical calculation, okay? Poison bug. What is all of them? Um, wait, no, no, this is so easy. Weedle. Let's go. Poison water. Tentacool. What the fuck is Hizui? <laughs> Help me. Help me. What is, what is Hizui? Chip, I'll try, I'll try Cardle for you, sure. Absolutely. This is from Arceus Legends. Okay, so I'm simply not going to know it. Evolved by item. This is where I'm screwed because in Pokemon Go... Wait, whoa, no, 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 no. Vaporeon... Eh? And, like, I would think, like, what is a, a poison that evolves via, a bug that evolves via item? Scizor. Oh! Okay, hang on. Hold. I think I can get one more. I think I can find a psychic bug. No, I think I'm cooked, guys. But this is still, like, really impressive for me. How about Yan Mega? You got some purple attacks, right? Okay, all right.
Just let me think about it for a second. Bug psychic. Just type uh, like an X and then see what fills in. This, this, are you, you're not bug, you're grass. The most sight, just type psi. Psy, psychic water, psy duck. It's a duck. That's psy, bro. How could it not be? Okay, how about gold duck? I'm gonna flip my shit, bro. <laughs> how could, his name is Psy Duck. How could he not be psychic water? It doesn't make any sense. Zeno, venonet, venom, bug, psychic. You're, you're, no, yeah, you're like, you're poison flying or something. Genesect. You don't look too psychic to me. Breaks in. Venonet poison. You're not psychic. Maybe you are psychic. I'm in a pinch. You know, okay, fucking Pikachu. G Max. I'm still proud of myself, okay? Close me out. Help me. What is, is there a psychic bug I could have gotten? Oh, psychic water, you can get slow, bro. That makes sense. I always forget slow bro is psychic. What the fuck is Orbital, bro? Cleavor. You wanna talk about quiet quitting? How about a Pokemon named Cleavor that has axes for hands? My ass is still out here swinging for the fences saying stuff like, why do they bother saving people in action movies? They're just going to die of old age at some point anyway. Meanwhile, Pokemon team is like, I don't know. What about a dude with axes for hands? We'll call him Cleavor. It's literally just Scyther. Yeah, you're right. It's just non-bug Scyther. I don't respect. No, it's literally Scyther. Oh, it evolves into Scyther? Oh, my mistake. My mistake. That's kind of cool then. I'm kind of, I take back all that shit I said about them giving up. Framed. Okay. Framed. Los Angeles police. Looks like it's from the 19... 2000s. Let me think about this. I'm just going to try L.A. Confidential because it's a great movie. Uh, it, that's a California license plate and a 1990s or 2000s Volkswagen Beetle. Could this be the other guys? They don't have the other guys? Am I crazy? Could it be the nice guys? I was thinking of the Will Ferrell one. No, no, okay, hang on. We have four gentlemen en route to a drug deal. And I hit you with a submit on this one. I'm just, I know it's not the usual suspects, right? But I gotta try the usual suspects. I don't know what this is. It's training day. <laughs> That's basically like missing it. Okay, fair enough. That's King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Antoine Fuqua. You don't know movies? I knew it was training day at the end, at least. Ethan Hawke, bro. First Reformed. Daybreakers. Before Sunset. Bro, fuck. Factal Sports. Rank these NBA players by most three-pointers in the playoffs in the 90s. 
No shot. <laughs> not going to happen. We will not be doing that. Oh, you're right. I don't. I didn't change my my stream metadata. Give me one moment, please. I'm a bad streamer. At least I don't have to change the title. It's still Swag Thursday. Countries hit by the most earthquakes: ninety to two thousand and four. Not every earthquake is necessarily huge. There might be a lot of, you know, threes and twos in here. I think that you got to you got to go Japan. <clears throat> you got to go Philippines. You got to go Indonesia. There were a lot of earthquakes when I lived in South Korea. I also feel like the USA might get a surprising amount. So I feel like there's an earthquake uh, in California now and then, and there's earthquakes in Alaska like 20 times a day, but they're, they tend to be small. But I, I would say South Korea first, and let's just throw in Turkey as well. Wow, only two of them were legit. That's crazy. Let's go. Let me think about this for a second. I am going to put the USA up there. Is it a sane heuristic to think that mountainous countries must have a lot of earthquakes because mountains are formed by tectonic movement? Now, when you say it is insane, is that good or is that bad? Good, insane good or insane bad? <laughs> insane good. Okay. Because I know, like, feel like lots of Argentina is mountainous. You no, know, I should have put New Zealand up here, honestly. It's quite mountainous and it's in kind of like that Ring of Fire area, right? If it's not South Korea, I would assume it's probably not North Korea. China is a large country. It's mountainous. It's adjacent to Japan, essentially. Let's put that in there. Let's also... I'm going to go Argentina. I just feel like Nepal is like... It's such a small country geographically, it would capture less earthquakes. I could be wrong. I don't know, man. Um, you mean Italy, you know? We have four at least. Sorry, fewer, fewer earthquakes. Japan, Indonesia, USA, China. Give me Iran. Mexico, Tanzania, Nepal, Uganda, Iran. Okay. It would have taken me a long time to get here. China or Indonesia must be number one. I'm going to go Indonesia, USA, China, Iran, Japan. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. China is number one. We know that for sure. And then <laughs> Japan. Cut it. Cut that last one. Indonesia, Japan, America, Iran. Oh! We were so close.
what is it actually? Iran, Japan, USA. It's still pretty good. I can live with that. 186 earthquakes a year. That's a tough one. You know what? I love this game because we learn something. Iran is farming those earthquakes, bro. Save some for the rest of us. Or, or don't. I, mean, I, should, I live in Vancouver, man. I should not be saying that. Uh, one day the chickens will come home to roost. I just hope I'm live at the time so we could have a great clip. Oh, 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 and I'll probably, the ground underneath me will liquefy and I'll be swallowed by the earth. But anyway, maybe not. I don't know. It is crazy. Sometimes I forget, like for years, I forget that the big one could possibly hit at any moment. And then for like half an hour, I'll be like, any moment, like a 9.0 earthquake could rip through the place that I live. And then you're just like, well, I got shit to do. <laughs> you're like afraid for a little bit at the fact that, you know, there's, this could happen at any moment. And then you're like, what am I going to do? It's Costco night. Giants head coach. I was going to say Yeonitz. <laughs> Egg nose ball, dude. In 2017, Yeonitz head coach Ben McAdoo controversially ended Eli Manning's 210-game start streak, benching him in favor of what quarterback? I have no idea. I'm going to select a perennial backup in the National Football League. Um... It's definitely Kenny Pickett. I have no idea, to be honest with you. What was the answer for that one? He was still in high school back then. <laughs> Gino Smith, I know that guy. The haters wrote me off, but I didn't write back. He's the starter for the Steelers. Um, put some respect on Mason Rudolph's name, bro. The first national championship of the BCS era occurred on January 4th, 1999, as this SEC school defeated Florida State 23-16 in the Fiesta Bowl. University of Georgia, go dogs. Okay, can I get an answer on that one? <laughs> that was the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee Volunteers, okay. College basketball. Nicknamed Captain Clutch, A.C. Law IV, played for this at the time, Big 12 school. Fuck college sports. As someone who doesn't live in America, fuck college sports, bro. I don't know any of this shit. Big 12. That's like the Midwest, right? Midwest school that does well in basketball, or at least they can get talent that does well. Indiana. Well, okay. Anyone know this one? <laughs> That's Texas A&M. All right. What clothing retailer founded Old Navy in 1994? That would be The Gap. This is Sasha Baron Cohen. No, wait a second. This is Charlize Theron. And Christopher Nolan? No, no, no. It's a little... That, that, that face is too narrow for Chris Nolan, but it, I'm covering the face. I got to tell you, I'm covering the face. It's like a, it could be Brad Pitt. It could be a more angular Brad Pitt. Uh, I don't know. He's so lean, bro. He's not that wrinkled, but the hair is kind of... <sighs> oh! <laughs> I'm washed. The phrase meat snacks is usually found above the name of the packaging on, I'm going to assume, Slim Jim. Holy fuck. <laughs> 
I'm getting dummied by Barstool. What rapper performed the opening theme song for Ah, Here It Goes for the Nickelodeon sitcom Keenan and Kel? Ski Low? <laughs> That's Coolio. Okay, all right. Joseph Gordon Levitt is in Inception! Inception! Okay. This musician is known for his public relationship with Megan Fox. Machine Gun Kelly. I will not double dip. I'm, what was the average day? Four. It was a harder day. Let me look at this mashup, bro. It was the, it. Oh, Kevin Bacon. That's a tough one, man. I, I do see it now, and some people in chat got it. Kevin Bacon does have that hair and a narrower face. That's a tricky one, though. That's what I look like? This is actually Sasha Baron Cohen. That's why I said that at first. I, like, I couldn't believe that Borat was not involved in the face on either element. But it turns out if you put Charlize Theron's face on Kevin Bacon, you get Sasha Baron Cohen. I got my ass beat on that one. I'm, I'm kind of getting my ass beat in general today. Well, in the dulls. I haven't faced physical violence yet. <laughs> Connections. Matchbox 20. Match, bow, duck, sick, swipe. She said, let's hit the parking lot so I can sick your duck. Fire, card, block, tight, break, message, lit, wrapping. Okay. Okay. I understand. Let me think. A swipe and a block. Things you can do on your phone. Message, block, swipe. Thing, things you can do on Tinder. Match, swipe, block, message. Oh, he's a genius. Strike. Bowling terms. Box. Charm. Things you can wear. Wrapping. Elements of a present. A box, a wrapping, a card, and a bow. Gift giving accessories. Fire. Strike. Tight. Charm. Duck. Duck. What are things a pirate captain might say to you? Fire. Duck. Break. Charm. Break. You can break. Uh, you could break my balls. You could strike my balls. You could fire my balls. These are all verbs. One away. <laughs> I don't know what. It, okay, three of these are similar. Fire away. Break away. Duck away. Strike away. Fire fighter. Strike fighter. Fire fighter. Fireman, strikeman, breakman. Oh, hey, the wellerman come to bring me whiskey and tea and rum. Fire charmed, I'm sure. So th these are connected, but one of them is swapped. Tight, charm, lit, and sick. Charm bracelet, break bracelet, duck bracelet, fire bracelet. Sick. Homesick, home safe, t safe tight. It's lit. It's charmed. I'm sure. Shuffle them up. Charm. Things you can do. <laughs> Fire. I'm I'm having some issues here. I'll admit. Sick. Lit. 
tight, fire, Gen Z slang for cool stuff. Yeah! Charm strike, duck break. Lucky. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. What is a lucky duck? People say that. People say lucky duck. They say, you lucky duck. It's when you want to swear. It's when you want to say, you motherfucker, you. One might have the caption, that moment when. Meme. <laughs> it's a meme, bro. My mom sends me memes like that. Dad mo TFW, TMW, that moment when. That moment when Hockey Night in Canada says the puck drop is at 7, is 7.15 and they're still singing the national anthem. Oh, brother. <laughs> Army rank above captain. Major. Chicago's United Center. Arena. Annoy with off. Tick. Hider of a bad haircut. Hats. That's a pretty easy one. What were the other ones? Ave Maria. Pop out of a fighter plane. Eject. TV detective played by Tony Shalhoub. Monk. It has its pluses and minuses. <laughs> Math. <laughs> You've done it again, you lucky duck. Oh, man. How droll, Niles. Now we're talking... If my wife liked this, I would get this at Costco every time we go there. But I think it would be me eating all these shrimps, and that would be a little bit too decadent for just one man. Kirkland Signature Shrimp Tray with Cocktail Sauce and Lemon. Looking at this, I'm going to say we got approximately 20 shrimp in there. I'm going to say in the United States of America, this is $8.99. It's not it, $10.99. Maybe. Up here, I think it's like $13.99. So it's not, yeah, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be $11.99. I'll tell you that for free. It's going to be $12.99. Get it twisted. Everybody in this industry is a snake. It's going to be $13.99 probably. Okay, it's a little bit higher than I thought. There we go. Congratulations. The price is $13.99. <laughs> First try. Chib, what's Cardle? What, what, do you, are you still here? What's the website? I guess you left it in the Discord. You ever have the Costco ceviche? It's pretty good, man. I know that you live in Brazil or whatever. You live in Peru. It's pretty good for considering that I'm like 10 oceans away from you. Maybe I will try Contexto today, but first I got to see Cardal. But all this shit just says Pup Pupius Maximus in the Discord. Cardal.uk? Oh, brother. <laughs> By the way, one of the things I do not know is cars. So especially like if the car is even slightly exotic, i.e. from Europe <laughs> at all, I will not know it, okay? Or I'll, I'll, I'll struggle to get it at least. Okay. Make and model. This is a Saturn. I can't even think of a Saturn. This is a Chevrolet Impala. Wrong. <laughs> That's not that helpful. This is, those are Dodge handles, okay? This is a Dodge Durango. That's, it's a Toyota? Okay, this is a Toyota Yaris. 
Yes! Oh! <laughs> they never thought it would happen. Holy brother. No, I don't know cars, but I do see Toyota Yaris's. I always think whenever I see it, it's kind of like the, the most smart car that's not a smart car. Like if I had to, I could actually push this car out of the way if it was illegally parked. Okay, we're going to try to solve a contexto with no chat help, okay? Stop telling me to disable my ad block. My ad block is disabled and I'm already getting ads on your website. <laughs> I got an ad for a fucking Volvo because I just played Cardle. The internet is cooked, bro. Our garage was humid. So some shit that we left in it got mildew. I bought a huge dehumidifier off of Amazon to dehumidify our garage. You know what the ad is for on the screen right now? It's an Amazon ad for a dehumidifier. You should fucking know, bro. You're the only people who should know that I don't need that shit anymore because I just bought it. You're smart. You're smart. The, some of the smartest people in the world are working at this business. How can this happen? Anyway. Okay, the word is dehumidifier. It's not even close, brother. The word is molecule. It's shoe. It's cheese. The word is single. The word is um, meat. <laughs> All I can think of is food. The word is go. Ah, okay. The word is went. Fuck. You, bro. I know how to speak English better than you, robot. The word go is already guessed. Arrive. Okay. Fly. So we still need to narrow it down like way more. We're still way too broad. Um, eat. Run. Pick. Chew. Drive. Walk. Makes sense. Sail. Store. Work. <laughs> Narrower than go. Okay. Go. So with, I'm thinking we're zooming out one level from go. That's hard. Um, speed. <laughs> there. It's too common. Here. Meander. Jet. Car. Foot, road, air, land, water, space, NASA, vegetable, mow, cut, Go okay, pass, merge, Still pretty far away, bro. Cut. Scissors. <laughs> Vehicle. Move. Oh. <laughs> Push. 
poll. Okay? Where we made some space. Change. Transform. This is a good exercise. I've, I'm thinking in a way I've never thought before. And it hurts to do it, which is how I know it's working. Impact. Alter. I'm just saying synonyms now. No, no, no. Tangential synonyms. Contextual synonyms. Push, pull, push, squeeze. Hit. Hit. Shoot. Pass. Right. <clears throat> Move. 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 Happy. Sad. Die? Funeral. Sad. Cry. Depressed. Morose, maudlin, melancholy, sad me, um, tears, weep, duct, <laughs> um, tragedy, drama, movie, book, TV show, <laughs> TV. Sad story. Sad, sad, sad. Confused? See, if it's, it's an emotion. Okay, it's not sad. It's an emotion. Confuse. Bewilder. Guess. Okay? We're learning something. Emotions. Sad, happy, confused, angry, mad, angry. Okay. Angry. Furious, angry, hungry, <laughs> angry, anger. Oh, we solved one. I got one of those in me a week, I would say. Hi, Domo. I don't really get how it works, though. I, th I still think the robot's kind of cooked, honestly. I think the AI, it doesn't sort them the way that I would sort them. It's fun, though. May 31st, 1985. Sony TriStar made a lot of money for the day. Speaking of which... 220 million in its 26th week at the box office. That's crazy, bro. Let's start there. I feel like this has to be like Back to the Future. Genre, action, comedy, crime. Never mind. Starring Eddie Murphy. It's Beverly Hills Cop. It's a sensation. Okay. 70, 53 million in week two. Sony TriStar featuring Sylvester Stallone. 1985, this might be a Rocky IV. Hmm. We'd be stupid not to try Rocky III. It's too late for Rocky II, I think. It might be too late for Rocky IV. I don't know. Tagline, what most people call hell, he calls home. It was Cobra. What most people call hell, he calls... <laughs> I have no idea, man. It, it did well. Let's put, put ice on that for a second. Hi, Tomo. Universal opened to 7 million. Starring Chevy Chase. This could be European Vacation. Could be K 
Caddyshack? I feel like it's a little late for Caddyshack. Tagline. Me, oh, the only guy who changes his identity more than he changes his underwear. It's fucking Fletch, bro. When an investigative reporter, Erwin Fletch Fletcher, this looks so bad with the asterisks on it. <laughs> they should have just put the word in there. <laughs> There's any number of things that could, that could fit in there that look horrible, man. Holy cow. MGM, second milli, second weekend, dropped 50%, 23 milli, starring Roger Moore. I don't know these mid... 80s James Bonds. Has James Bond finally met his match? The Spy Who Loved Me. It just makes sense. The Man with the Golden Gun. I've only got three misses left. We're going to chill for a second. Universal, 18 milli. Richard Pryor. What is Brewster's Millions? Let's go. Brewster, an aging minor league baseball player, stands to inherit $300 million if he can successfully spend $30 million in 30 days without anything to show for it and without telling anyone what he's up to. This movie in 2023, buy two houses. Done. The movie is 41 seconds long. Now, we're stuck... I, I might as well just be guessing James Bond movies, okay? The mid-80s. Could it be A View to a Kill? Because I'm thinking in the 80s, they would have had Duran Duran on the soundtrack. It makes perfect sense. I, I was literally just thinking of the songs. You can dance into the fire. The cheapest uh, is all you damn. And then this, I think I just need the hints. Oh, John Rambo is released from prison by the government. Rambo, if you haven't seen uh, the Rambo movies, it's, they're very funny on a meta level. The first Rambo, I didn't realize this because I grew up thinking all the Rambos were like mindless action movies. Watch the first Rambo. It's actually like a, a story about a soldier who has PTSD um, from being drafted to fight in Vietnam and is basically like, I'd rather punish the system that put me through that than try to get back to a world that doesn't want me anymore. And then the second one, they're like, John Rambo, you're the best soldier we've ever had. Go into the jungle with a rocket launcher and kill everybody. And he's like, yes, sir. Well, he's kind of like, I don't want to do that. But then like in a minute, he's like, all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Anyway, I'm glad. I'm just glad we got him. I don't know if I had any other James Bond movies in me. For me, James Bond is like this. Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, a few more that are like kind of okay in there. Thunderball is still pretty good. Um, is it You Only Live Twice where Sean Connery goes to Japan and like blends in as a local, which is really ridiculous. And then like all after that, after the Sean Connery era, it's just a big bowl of mud. I don't know the order really. I don't know which ones are Timothy Dalton's, which ones are Roger Moore's. And then I pick it right up. 1995, when GoldenEye comes out, and I can follow the through line from GoldenEye till the present day. Which I think might be the best way to do it. <laughs> Hang on, I'm thinking about what dull I want to go next. I want to go for next. Did you see Jen Sherman dissing Chris Nolan? Wait a minute. Are you? Th this is an extra wrinkle because we did talk about it. Are you telling me that Christopher Nolan's favorite Peloton instructor is Jen Sherman? 
that in and of itself is like, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just yapping. But that calls into question. You know what it is? He's really good at making movies. He doesn't have the best choice in Peloton instructors. He's very smart in one domain and a normie in all the other ones. That's completely fair. I knew there were Jen Sherman fans out there, but uh, I, I wouldn't have expected necessarily Chris Nolan to be one of them. More power to him. Let's, let's do a little movie grid here. The Shermanator. She does, if you called her the Shermanator, she would cancel the ride. She would stop pedaling and call your ass out. Lupita and Yango nominated for an acting Oscar. 12 years a slave. Lupita and Yango, one word title, us. Lupita and Yango released from 2000 to 2024. You get more points for lower percentage guesses. I feel like people are very likely to guess like Black Panther here. So I'm going to guess Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Maggie Simpson in The Force Awakens from its nap. 9%, I can live with that. Daniel Kaluuya, nominated for an acting Oscar. Get out. Daniel Kaluuya, one word title, Widows. Daniel Kaluuya, released from, uh, Nope is the guess here for sure. But if so many people use Nope, we're going to hit you with a Nope on this one. Oh, well, well, well. Andrew Garfield nominated for an acting Oscar. Tick, tick, boom. Tick, tick, boom. Andrew Garfield, one word title. Ignore the. <laughs> Andrew Garfield released from 2000 to 2024. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Gotta feel like The Amazing Spider-Man 1 probably had the most, and then maybe... Spider-Man No Way Home had the second most. And honestly, I just don't know a one-word Andrew Garfield movie. Top 30.2. Silence. I liked it. I know what you're talking about. What about Silence Me when uh, everybody's listing their favorite Martin Scorsese movies? Silence, I Kill You. That's the sequel. I'm still waiting for that one. Don't be mad, bro. It's Puck Doku. It's the Minnesota Wild, like the most overrepresented team in Puck Doku of all time. They've had four notable players in their entire career as a team. And yet somehow they're in every single Puck Doku. Like this is crazy, man. That being said, New Jersey, Minnesota... Zach Parise, no disrespect, Jay. Oh, I like that little zzzz. Five plus teams played in career. I can do this. I just need to think about it for a second. Um, Winnipeg, Colorado, Stasny. Paul Stasny. Zzzz. New Jersey, Colorado. Oh, it's so doable. Give me a second. New Jersey undrafted. Now that's impossible. No, 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 it's not. Jimmy Vesey. Did Jimmy Vesey play for you? No, I don't think so. Five plus teams played for in career. Let me think about it for a second. Colorado Avalanche, five plus teams played for in career. There's got to be a, a ton of answers here. Minnesota Wild, five plus teams. It's, it's Mike Sillinger. He's played for every team in the NFL. I mean, the NHL. It's um, fuck. <laughs> undrafted five plus teams played for. Jimmy Vesey. F 
five, motherfucker. Winnipeg. You used to be Atlanta. So I'm just thinking. Atlanta. Gabarik? The ga no, Gabarik? Gab I'm thinking of Heatley and Kovalchuk. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you, Puck Doku. Eat shit. <laughs> it's too hard. I'm sorry. It's too hard today. So is Traveler. No, maybe not. Today, I'd like to go from Iraq to Indonesia. Okay, you have to, you have to flip it and reverse it. First, we have, to, we have to invert it. We go Indonesia to Malaysia. It's a forced move. You go Malaysia to Thailand. It's a forced move. You go Thailand... To China. Which is the best move. Are they... Are they touching? <laughs> I don't think they're touching. Okay. But then from China... I think we... It, to me, it only makes sense. You could go to Russia and then kind of come down around like the Black Sea and get to Iraq. Or you could go to India and maybe that's adjacent to a country that's adjacent to Iran. Let's start with India. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Iran. Okay, we're filling in gaps, people. Pakistan. That's, that's the link I was looking for. And then... So I think you're Thailand. Laos is like right here. Well, let me... They, Laos is like right here. Is Laos adjacent to China? Because I feel like in here, it's like... No, you're like Nepal, and you're like Bhutan or something. Give me Laos. We take those. Okay. Oh, it is. Laos comes all the way down. Okay. That was pretty good, man. All things considered. What, what country would have fit there? Oh, Myanmar. Nepal and Bhutan. I was pretty close there too. I think that's all I got. <laughs> I think I'm done with the dolls for today. Okay, slash marker.